And I agree with your point to a certain degree. I know it can be a lot more motivating to change for somebody else over yourself at times. But I also feel like it's kind of important to look at yourself like you look at other people. That you deserve respect. You deserve to experience the best version of you. As weird as that sounds. Not only that, but if you're only changing for somebody else, that's not going to be the most authentic you. We often give in to all this peer pressure and external pressures to be a certain way. We are taught these things from childhood. And we can become so wrapped up with these expectations that other people have of us. That one day, 10, 20 years later, we're like, I'm not living my life authentically to me. I'm living what somebody else wanted. I became that person that my ex wanted me to be. I'm not my own person. I'm who my mom wants me to be, my dad. I'm what society wanted me to be. And I feel like when you really look inward and get to know who you truly are, then you realize that a lot of everyday things that people do and the way they live their life is not authentic to you. You need to mix it up and it can be difficult to stray from everybody else. And I feel like when you do things for other people and you change for other people, you have a deep sense of emptiness, like something's wrong in your life and you can't figure out why. Because you're not prioritizing what contributes to your own happiness, your own well-being, and your satisfaction in life, you're doing what they want you to do. And changing for yourself also boosts your confidence and boosts your self-esteem. So you can be an overall better person to the people around you. Like back when I used to do what everybody else wanted me to do, I would dress a certain way. I dressed extremely girly wore the like the brands and the outfits that everybody else liked and wanted me to. I indulged in the popular culture and what everybody else wanted me to watch and experience. I was so miserable. My self-esteem was rock bottom because I wasn't prioritizing my needs and my wants and what I personally enjoy. But the more you become your authentic self, that confidence and self-esteem just sort of comes naturally. 